So I love how Rudy Chan always makes fun of Wizard of the Coast, Hasbro, and then right after he then sells you some more cards. Ravnica Remastered is what he is now trying to sell to his patrons. If you ask anyone about Ravnica Remastered, they will tell you do not buy that set. Uh, boxes have 18 to 20 shock lands apiece. These shock lands are going to be pretty much worthless in the near future. As more and more of them flood the market and there will be less and less uh, value per card. So I think uh, in terms of what is happening here is Rudy desperately needs to sell you product, right? Ravnica Remastered. And he is saying that it's a great product. Uh, a lot of people have contacted him and they want to buy cases of this product. Collector's Edition, I'm talking about. And it's so funny, right? That every product that he sells is a great product. Every product is Baldur's Gate is a great product. Even though it lost many stores, a lot of money, Baldur's Gate, great product. And, and this is kind of what's very frustrating to me about um about the shocklands right um they're just not very very collectible anymore everyone has shocklands everyone has uh has them already and if you don't get them you're, you're going to be two to three dollars you know so when he's calculating the value of shocklands he's leaving them at 10 to 15 but he knows better than that he knows better than anyone what this set is going to do to the Shockland price. So in terms of opening a box of this, nah, man, Ravnica Remastered is probably one of the worst products you can buy right now. And like I said, if you're trying to make money, if you're trying to get money out, like it's just not, not a good idea. It is not a fun time right now to be an investor in any product in the market. I mean, this, this is a, a nothing burger compared to MetaZoo and the, what MetaZoo content creators are coining en masse. You know, two bigger content creators have just made announcements and they're just not going to do it anymore. So I think Rudy, you know, again, he, he's trying to sell you some stuff, right? But be very careful what you buy because in today's market, buying a case of 20, even if you like magic cards, you can buy a nice, you know, for that price, you can buy a nice Power 9. Unlimited Power 9. Uh, these cases are very expensive, guys. These collector's boxes are very, very expensive. Ravnica Remastered is not what you think it is. It is a set. I mean, I like the anime. I, I like it. But, man, it's not nothing special. It's just a bunch of reprints. And how many more reprints of reprints of reprints can you have before you kind of realize, well, this game is... You know, and, and this is the problem. The problem with unlimited reprints is there's no creativity. There's no... So instead of coming out there and saying, hey, we all need to create new cards or new demand or new hype, uh, just reprint after reprint. So anyway, Ravnica Remastered, I think, is going to be one of the worst investments that you can imagine. I think Ravnica Remastered is a terrible set because the only thing it really has of value I mean, again, anime cards, yes. But it's going to be reprinted so many times that the... So when you have a card and it gets reprinted, obviously the card price goes down in price. Right? That that should be obvious to you. And when the card goes down in price, um, the EV is going to go way, way down. So I think that's one thing that he hasn't... Um, uh, that he hasn't really considered is and maybe he does know it I mean maybe he does know it but he doesn't mention it because he wants to sell packs which is fine right but I I don't believe it's really that fair to everyone who is um, going to do that so back to the initial reason I'm making this video I wouldn't buy this set man I wouldn't buy this set at all. I wouldn't buy Collector's Edition. I, I mean, this is basically Dominaria Remastered in a nutshell. That set got hammered. I don't know the limited ability. I don't know any of that. And and I don't think Rudy knows that too. He supposedly has insiders, right? And Hasbro, that he can't mention their names or their titles. And 
I wonder if the insiders are still there today. Uh, probably not. Um, to be quite honest with you, right? I mean, these insiders, I mean, if they caught, got caught communicating with Rudy and giving him proprietary information, they probably should be laid off, right? And I wonder if he still has this insiders and these insider writing him emails on company accounts. And it just, a lot of this seems fake. A lot of them just seems like a way for him to sell. It's very interesting. One day he's very angry at the company. And the next day, he's just selling and promoting the hell out of their newest product. Like, if you want the company to change, you vote with your wallet, right? Isn't that my opinion? Isn't that, like, what you should be doing? Like, otherwise, the company will never change. If you want the company to look into some stuff and change how they act and behave, you hurt them in their wallet. You don't do this. You don't just keep selling and promoting pro. I mean, I think Rudy is the only person who says Ravnica Remastered is a good investment. I, I have never heard that from anyone else, from MTG Finance to Card Kingdom to anyone. You know, I, I talk with my game store. I mean, they're not ordering any of this shit. Right? I mean, they don't want it. The only person who wants it is my friend because he just he's a psychopath. And he just has infinite money, right? But most people are not buying this set. And to think of it as an investment is just outrageous. Anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Bye, guys.